What's that smell? Day 12. No, actually, it's like the water or whatever. Certain times of the year, uh, there's some really bad fucking smells uh, by the water. But it's still beautiful, so, you know, give and take relationship, whatever. So one thing that uh, I was thinking about uh, this morning on my walk, difference between when I was working out, um, smoking weed like here and there and working, trying to get on a workout schedule, the walk that I just did, I wouldn't have gone anywhere near as far. I would have reached a point where I was like, man, I kind of got to pee. I should probably just turn back and just and just go somewhere and pee. And then, we've done enough, we've done enough, we've done enough. But I was like, fuck that shit, I'll find a place to pee. So I pushed through and walked way further than I intended on walking. Found an outhouse, took a piss, all was good. You know, it's like a whole different world. Exercise is key. I had someone reach out to me, uh, what was it, uh, yesterday, and talking about he's going through the same thing. Uh, he's got dreams that are messing with him. And I can relate, man, when you quit weed, your dreams do get weird. Um, I think for some people it's worse than others, or worse than others. But, um, yeah, so I get it. So he was saying that uh, he likes to, or he's, he's uh, spending more time in bed because of that. And I gotta say, I get it, but that's not the way, man. You gotta, you gotta push. You gotta push yourself to exercise. Exercise is so key; it changes everything. Um, and for me, when you know, I mentioned before, when I got past the the stomach cramps you're experiencing, um, you know, anxiety started to set in. But man, you get out, get out, and go for a, a long, brisk walk, break a sweat. Not, not a uh, like right now. I'm walking a little slower than normal because. I don't want to be like panting on this video or whatever, but you get that intense walk in where you actually sweat and push yourself further than you think you can go. And then when you get done, you'll feel good, man. It'll change everything. It'll make everything so much easier. I get it though. Exercise can be super intimidating for people who don't exercise. <laughs> um, you know, uh, when you're used to just not doing shit every day, you don't even think about it. You don't even think about exercising. Um, and I think that goes for people, even if you don't smoke weed, like just people who are caught up in their days, you know? But in reality, there's always time. Um, whatever whatever time you get up, get up an hour earlier than that and, and do something. And you don't have to hit it like super hard right out of the gate. You don't gotta, you know, go to the gym membership or go get a gym membership and do their like training thing where they break your ass. You don't gotta do that. Like, dude, just get out and go for a walk and break a sweat every fucking morning and then every morning you'll do more you'll want to do more you know the first day that i did it i walked a certain distance i came back felt great broke a sweat the next day i did it i got to that point i was like let's go a little further i mean just naturally you you want to do that so i think too many people are, are scared of you know what they uh, have to do with exercises you don't got to make a big thing of it you know just do it and especially if you're quitting weed. If you're quitting weed, you need exercise. Like that is fucking huge. You can't quit weed without exercise. I'm sorry, you just can't. You'll fall back. You will fall back. Guaranteed you will fall back. So, and I don't mean to be harsh, um, especially, you know, to, to the one viewer who, you know, told me where, where he's at. I'm just saying, man, if you want to do this, you got to exercise. And maybe you do exercise, but if you're saying that you're laying in bed a lot um, to, you know, avoid whatever like that's you know it's not good so but anyhow uh back to me back to phil um i am uh, now day 12 clean with no weed no beer no cigarettes man it feels great it's a whole different ball game um i'm, I'm every day feeling energetic and you know you wake up with purpose no longer am I waking up like, oh, let's stick around on my phone for three hours. I'm not doing that anymore. I mean, you might check your messages or something like that, but then as soon as as soon as I get up, I'm, or as soon as I get up and I check my messages for a second, man, I'm fucking ready to go. I get up, I fucking let the dog out, get some water, drink down a glass of water. That's the other thing. When you quit weed and beer or whatever, maybe it's just weed. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert as of right now. I'm trying to learn more. But uh, you want to drink water like all the fucking time. I used to have like a glass of water a day, and that was it. Now I'm drinking like 
seven or eight just because I want it. You know, it's like your body craves it, but you suppress it when you're using vices. You know, I guess that's the fucking science about it. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, man, it's a totally different world. And as I said before, man, it's a new lease on life. Um, shit's getting real, and shit's getting real fast. And I feel it down in my plums. I hope there's not a copyright on that. If you know what that's from, uh, comment below. It's uh, fucking hilarious. Back to the car, I wanted to make sure I clarify something. Um, this shit is not easy. Uh, don't mean to make it sound like it is easy. If you look back at my day five, and watch just my face. Holy shit, man, that was rough. Um, some tips I can give, like I said, is obviously exercise. And I would recommend uh, outdoor exercise, for sure. Gym's cool and all that. I think once you get to like advanced training, you start incorporating like actually working on your muscles and shit. But for someone like me, dude, I just need to break a sweat, man. I spent so much time not doing shit, stuffing my face late night and just fucking not good. So, you know, uh, do that and then fill your time, man. Stay busy. You know, not with, not with video games. And this is generalized. This is for anybody. Um, not with video games, not with dumb shit like that. Stay busy with crafts. Like, think about what you were good at when you were a kid. Tap into that. Like, for me, it's art. So, I'm going to start taking up art again. I mean, I'm busy with my job and stuff anyway. So, but the whole thing is filling your time. And once you get through the days and you start going a little bit further um, in how many days you're in, like me, you know, being at, uh, being at day 12, it's a little bit easier, it gets a lot easier, and everybody's different, you know, as far as the timeline it takes to, to reach that point, but based on my research with the Googles, it's anywhere between five days to 14 days, I think. So for me, it was a little bit quicker, and I think you do things like exercise, it makes it go a lot faster. Keep your time busy. You don't necessarily have to time block, but just stay busy, and not with dumb shit, exercise. Anyhow, that's it. Real deal, feel out, I love everybody.